We're now being told, and it's being proposed, that 96% of the universe, even with all of our devices, is stuff we can't even see. <laughs> right? so, so in terms of it being a void, it's a perceptual issue. And if we keep coming back out, eventually, if we go back and back and back and back and back in time, what's going to happen? We'll see the beginning of time. Thank you. Today, as you heard, 390 parts per million. Where we need to be is? Infinity. Nice. Where we're not going is this orange line. This is where we're not going. We are not going the doom and gloom route. That is, we're being broadcasted over and over. Anyone else sick of hearing the story that we're going to just destroy ourselves? We're not going this way. Where we're going is there. We're bending the orange line down. And I'm going to show you a simulation model about telling the story. So, and as the opposed way to us, where our emotional center is more isolated, in dolphins it's pretty integrated. They're touching in a lot of, uh, along a lot of surface. So it might be possible that dolphins can't be out of touch with their emotions. And they clearly have emotions. And they clearly grieve. And they clearly experience joy, or you know, whatever they call it, joy. So my student said to me, by dolphin standards, humans might be autistic. <laughs> well, I know, it's kind of funny. What I want to tell you is that there are opportunities for us all, for each person in this room, to make a difference in the lives of others. Okay? Now somebody, I, I, I don't believe that you need to go look for these opportunities. I believe you can look out right outside your window and you can see them. And I believe in some cases they'll walk right in through your door, just like my son did. She was and is the point of my inspiration, showing me the revolution is in staying alive. I am not sure what happened to her 108 years of living in the South. I only know she is closer to God than anyone I have ever known. Imagine lasting heartache after heartache, outlasting the death of almost everyone. Imagine lasting 108 years and having no monuments erected in your name. The only thing resurrected daily was the struggle and the fight. What are we going to say to that woman? We're going to look around and pretend she's not there. What are we going to say? What are we going to do? If we want to be well, we sit down and we listen with more than our ears. Lee, Zai's mother, recently sent me this note. It was for us, our family, friends, and community, the answer, home funerals. I will, to the end of time, so completely cherish every moment that I had in Zai, with Zai in his room. I needed to say things, needed closure, needed time to just be with his physical self. I needed that time to adjust.